My body's been recompositioning well. Just came back from a meal. So. Alright guys, so it is Friday, May 27th, and I'm about to head to the gym a little bit. Me and my buddy James, maybe I can get him on camera if he decides to. This number right here, that's not going to happen by that time. Um, so I'm just focused on, you know, my body's been compositioning well. So I'm going to just write it out and see what happens, but I just came back from a meal. So... This is where I'm at right now. That's relaxed. So that's relaxed right there. And then that's relaxed. I might get some more in the gym. Catch you guys in there. I'm gonna grab a monster for a pre workout. And I'll see you guys on the inside. What's up guys, so I'm here in the gym uh, with James, if you guys haven't met James yet, he's a monster, about to see it, um, we're about to do some bench, but kind of just been talking about what I mentioned in one of the previous videos, which is, I guess the point of picking your goals again, and deciding on what, what do you want to do, so uh, what were you just talking about James? We were talking about the benefits of having different phases with your goals, so like periodization, um, in terms of, I guess, your nutrition as well as your training, and what you want to minimize and what you want to maximize during each phase. Um, like, let's say you're, you're kind of screwing up on your diet uh, for, like, let's say a period of one or two months. Which I have been doing. <laughs> you want to do as much damage control as possible during those periods of time because later on when you look back you're going to regret it you know as you're doing putting in the hours of cardio or you know cutting back on such extremes in your uh, deficit in calories it's going to be rough so um, you've got to do whatever you can to maximize I guess the point of your long-term goal short term so and this isn't scripted, so I'm going to ask him off the bat. So what's your opinion on someone that continues to screw up? Because a lot of people who are watching this are trying to cut or gain muscle. But let's say someone is continuing to screw up. And then they're just like, I'll cut calories, I'll cut calories. But I'll do more cardio, I'll do more cardio. What's the point where you're just like, I gotta, I don't know, I gotta, I gotta focus and stop messing up and stop saying because I know when I figured out like macros and calories and whatnot I'm just like well I just cut more carbs or I cut more calories and I cut more calories and eventually you're like dude I'm at you know whatever I'm at a certain yeah I'm at a certain number of carbs or calories that I shouldn't be at so like what's your opinion on that as far as when is the time to stop keep going etc uh, my opinion on it, on that is uh, you got to find your own uh, basal metabolic rate on top of, you know, what macros fit best for you. Make sure you keep a food log and basically slate clean. Uh, so you're stuck at ground zero. So what you want to do is you want to first uh, initiate that change in yourself and make sure that you're going to stay um, on that path. And whatever you do, you want to keep building momentum on it. And the best way to do that is through tracking your progress is through the food logs, are through different avenues like increasing your cardio, increasing your sets and reps, uh, volume, um, increasing weight obviously, but essentially just tracking everything that you can um, and just trying to stay motivated. Yeah, yeah, because I was just telling James like, I don't feel like I